did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel <laughs> knows my name. Great. It How points that happen? out. I fell, car accident, jumping from a fan. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home just out, out of Atlanta. Out of Atlanta. Getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. A police officer. Well, they're going to find out sooner or later. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> pull up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Again, not name, my daughter. Darling. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. It's like, hey, stop Dad, calling her a fucking so daughter. Thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> Your son is right. I wouldn't worry too much. Your, Your son, son is right. I'm going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. They're like Metallica zombies. A man got run over. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> Well, I'm all done here. And I'll tend to my chickens. Tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. What? Okay. At least yeah. someone's fucking relaxed. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Great. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Yeah, your parents are probably dead, so <laughs> we're gonna go to my hometown. So do you and your parents, inverted commas. It smells like death. I know what it smells like. <laughs> Duty. That's why I'm opening it. I hasten to add to some of the sp my mom and oh. dad. some of the speech options. You can't just stay silent. How far is Savannah? Long way. Oh, okay. I'll probably find the mum at some point, and she'll be on the point of her getting infected, and then yeah, it'll be Resident Evil all over again. She'll turn into a zombie when we enclose ourselves in a room. I've only been asleep two minutes, dude. <laughs> Let's not get nightmares already. Hey, get up. Hey. I'm itchy. You gonna go well, you slept catch in an ant chickens? Lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name Sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything! <laughs> You're gonna die, little boy. We won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Because he pouts all the time? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? He's not quacking, he's We're just calling out to his dad! On your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Damn straight. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh... I'd have to stay here, but okay. Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. 
You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the <laughs> tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Duck. Oh, God. Who really I calls their son Duck? Here on the porch. We can visit. Ah, she's gonna spout all kinds of stuff. I didn't know him! He was a thief! He was a... Rapist! That's... <laughs> yeah, sure, he was a rapist! That's a thing. Right. Uh, what am I doing? Be sure to check with everyone you've met so far. Okay. Let's say hi. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Yep. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <laughs> no kids, I'm okay, I have no idea. No kids! No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How the hell do you tell that? Alright. How's your son doing? How's your bird doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. You showed an interest in his family. That's because I'm a great guy. Family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. <laughs> See you. Oh dear. Well, I mean, uh, the wife, she's not too keen on the boat. She'd prefer we to uh, stay on land and I'll die slowly and horribly. That's an option we uh, just have to take. I've got the best American accent, I know. Right. Who else can I speak to? Hey, uh, Duck. Can <laughs> you really there? Don't wave! He's not that far away. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Cocky kid. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, oh, hell no, politics, no. Sean's still working on that fence. Aren't you clever? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. <laughs> sure. Seems easy enough. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. Yeah, damn straight. No. Too busy, uh, right catching chickens. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Yeah, he doesn't see sound... things like that. It's not like in the movies. Like a walker. You don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Do I get to lie? I had shit one. I smashed a poor girl's brains in. Yeah. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Dad! My parents are in Macon with my brother. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Haven't, hasn't this place got a telephone line that we That's could call on I need cut for now thanks uh, right well that's that done and Sean thanks again for the ride no problem Lee couldn't leave you behind well you have some anyway, sort of morals you see my dad around he might want some help in the barn okay then got that in mind 
I've also learned that you're a bit of a pussy, is that the proper word? Just click on that. Do I have to go all the way over there? I do, don't I? Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? No, nope. not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. <laughs> I was going to say, seeing how those things are, all we need is an eight-foot fence. That's what kept them out of the other place, essentially. Right. You know, I probably need to speak to Clementine at some point, alone, because I've no idea about her. Seems like those two are getting along. Of course they are. Uh, can I, can I actually speak to them? That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. Hey okay. there, girls. <sighs> she actually looks relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? Yeah, and a way to forget about it is uh, bringing it back up. You learned Clementine is a first grader. Yep, cool. So, uh, what do you do when Year seven, aren't obviously. walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I can't make out her accent. The University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. <laughs> there aren't going to be any students, to be honest. Yeah, the cat is a vegetarian. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. I killed a kid. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Yeah, I never went to college. <laughs> Stop me. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. She had been don't you want to the moment before you knew about all of this? No one badass. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. <laughs> oh, dear. Right then, well, uh, let's head off to go and meet this guy on the farm, eh? 